Hello, this is D, and I'm back with another video. Well, today I have some really good news regarding the Xbox Lockhart device. Now, for quite some time, this has been rumored. Now, there were some reports that it got canceled. Then we heard some more reports stating that no, it was indeed going ahead as scheduled. Now, this weekend, courtesy of a Twitter user named Zach S, we have confirmation that the Xbox Lockhart device is real. But like usual, I'll leave a link in the description down below. Now, this Twitter user was able to purchase the controller for the Xbox Series X over the weekend and when he looked at the side of the box he saw that it also supported the Xbox Series S. The controller was a white color which would also indicate that these next generation consoles will have a white variant as well. Now I'm going to get the black version just because it's easier to keep clean and I think it looks better in my entertainment unit. However I know a lot of gamers are going to be happy that there is going to be a white version of the Xbox Series X and the newly confirmed Xbox Series S. Now when we look at the controller it's a little bit different than the Xbox controller. It's a little bit smaller, so it fits better in the hands. It has a new share button, a new D-pad, and it has some textures on the triggers. Now, Microsoft also improved the latency on this controller, so overall, it is a better controller than the previous generation of Xbox controllers. Now, let's talk about the newly confirmed Xbox Series S. Now, what do we know so far about this console? It's targeting four teraflops of performance. It's gonna have 7.5 gigabytes of RAM available for games. It will have an SSD, it's also capable of doing ray tracing, and it will play the next generation games at 1440p and 1080p resolution. It also will play backwards compatible games from the Xbox One, and I would assume those games would run at 4K and hopefully 60 frames per second. Now some people scoff at the four teraflops of performance on this console, however it is using the second generation of RDNA architecture, which is more efficient and has more power than the first generation, so it will outperform the Xbox One. One X as well it has the same CPU that's found inside the Xbox Series X so it will have a Zen 8 core 16 thread CPU which will ensure that console is capable of delivering 60 frames per second. Now with the information out there that the Xbox Series S does indeed exist I would expect Microsoft to make an official announcement I would say as early as next week. Now this creates a new problem for Sony now that we have confirmation that this is a real thing Sony has to really be thinking about the price of the PlayStation 5. Now we know that the PlayStation 5 All Digital is going to come in at around $399. All early reports state that the Series S will come in at $299. So that's a $100 price difference over the PlayStation 5. Now don't get me wrong, I know a lot of gamers want the PlayStation 5. They're going to get it. It's going to do great numbers. However, with another option out there that's $100 cheaper, a lot of value oriented gamers will see this as a good choice for budget gaming. Now what if Microsoft was able to get this console down at $199 and bundle Game Pass with it? I think they have a combination for a huge success on their hands. Now Microsoft and Sony are still engaged on their stare down for the Xbox Series X as well as the PlayStation 5. Now like I said the PlayStation 5 all digital I do expect it to be $100 cheaper than the regular PlayStation 5 so $399. So this just makes everything really interesting. Now we're going to get all the answers this month. I really do believe that pre-orders for both of these companies will open up this month. I think that Microsoft is probably going to announce the Xbox Series S next week and most likely the Xbox Series X will probably get the price point. We're going to get the release date of this next generation console and Sony will follow suit with their counteract. Now I think that the Xbox Series S is really going to put a monkey wrench in their plans. It might actually be a benefit to some gamers as it may force Sony's hands and they have to lower the price on the PlayStation 5 Digital, lower the they anticipated to be competitive with the Lockhart device. Now this is just my speculation on all of this. Now to be quite honest with you, the PlayStation 5 is more powerful than the Lockhart device, substantially more powerful, at least two times more powerful than that console. However, price is also a thing with gamers and a lot of people might get that console as a secondary unit and some people just can't afford a $500 or $400 console and I believe that's why the Series S will exist. Okay, so I was finished recording my audio for today's video and then some new information just popped up. Now, apparently this is not a controlled leak and this is uh, the reason why these users actually have these controllers and apparently in Chicago right now, there were some riots that went on last night. A lot of looting happened. They looted a couple of Best Buy stores. They cleaned the stores out and it looks like these controllers were in the store. Now, this would mean that Microsoft didn't want this information to come out this way, but at the same time, why 
why did these Best Buy stores already have these new controllers? That would indicate to me that Microsoft is gearing up to release these next generation consoles. I think we're going to get some of the pre-orders opening up for the Xbox Series X and of course the newly confirmed Xbox Series S. I think the controllers will probably come out to encourage people to upgrade but I do believe that we're going to get an announcement pretty soon so like I said earlier in the video I think next week perhaps Monday we'll get an announcement officially unveiling the Xbox Series S. Anyways I want to know what you guys think about the revelations from today. What do you think about the Xbox Series S? Do you believe that 4 teraflops of performance is enough to power the next generation games on that device as well the price do you think that Sony should be worried about the price of the Xbox Series S let me know in the comment section down below and like I usually say please like share and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys on the next one